it. The Dajan Yancha is clear, so it must be in the land. That's how it is the form actually. But unless it please, please discuss how can the... In discussing plan. about things, so why should you discuss who has more wealth, who has more army, there is no reason for that. हमें क्या डिस्कस करने का ये पर्पस है किसकी वार में ज्यादा है किसके पैसे ज्यादा है मतलब जिसके पास पैसे ज्यादा है आदमी वो दुखी तो है इससे मुक्त नहीं है ना समझ नहीं रही बात जो भिक्षु है वो ये डिस्कस कर रहे हैं कि जो दो राजा थे ना उस समय एक प्रसन्न जी और एक मगर के राजा फिर साथ इन दानों में से किसके पास ज्यादा घोड़े हैं किसके पास ज्यादा सेना है इसको मतलब नहीं ना भिक्षु को क्या मतलब कोई मतलब नहीं होना चाहिए I don't know for sure, but I should conclude that it will be there. This. Yeah, that they are not supposed to. And even if it is not there written, Buddha's objection is very clear. They are not supposed to discuss these things. Okay, uh, coming to slide number two, the title is The Way It Is. And uh, this is the way Ajahn Samadhu. Uh, brings to the reflection uh, for us to come to the uh, present moment and uh, having the acceptance of uh, the way things are in the present moment. And when Ajahn Samedo says uh, the way it is, it's an uh, uh, indication of not trying to uh, uh, expect the present moment uh, to be something else. It's more of uh, accepted that right now the present moment is the way it is and uh, some of the examples he gives is that uh, if in the present moment uh, there is suffering or uh, there is anger or uh, there is uh, elation or there is happiness we can still see it as way it is uh, rather than trying to attach uh, too much meaning to it. And that's where uh, the Ajahn Samiru uh, brings this word of uh, trusting. And uh, I'll just uh, read from the uh, section. The ability to reflect brings you into the present. Through trusting in awareness, you begin to recognize a state of peace that is with you all the time. This is not dependent on lack of impingement of sensory, sensory deprivation. You then see Dhamma, you get in touch with what you might call your true nature or Buddha nature, that which most people are not really aware of. And so that's the distinction which uh, Jan Savidu makes uh, again and again, that uh, coming to the present moment, uh, brings you to that state of peace and that state of peace is not really dependent upon what kind of sankharas uh, we are running in uh, the present moment and he is not suggesting that uh, we do something with those sankharas uh, 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 but the peace uh, he talks about is about the one uh, which is aware of those sankharas and uh, that uh, is the trusting in the present, which uh, Chancellor points to. And as he says, that this is not something you create through tranquilizing your mind or through any technique, but it is reality you tend to overlook when you are caught into reacting too strongly to sensory impingement or liking or not liking the things that you tend to overlook when you are caught up in reacting too strongly to sense impingements or liking or not liking the things you are experiencing. So, uh, so many times uh, possibly there is a uh, we, most of the time we operate from this mode that we are in uh, the mind which is liking and disliking and uh, with in that particular state we become uh, the like and dislike but then 
uh, with this awareness, we, sh we are able to uh, bring this gap where we are able to uh, see this uh, liking and disliking of the mind and not getting really caught in the liking and uh, disliking. So uh, this is question from Sudhakar, Ab ability to reflect means uh, example in our practice form sir will help. We, I think I should I answer. <laughs> so uh, uh, So as I have understood from uh, Ajahn Samiru, uh, for me, the ability to reflect will be to be able to see uh, what condition things are arising, uh, arising in the mind and uh, just be, uh, uh, have a kind of acceptance of this is the way things are in the present moment. Um, this doesn't mean that if uh, uh, the mind state is negative, uh, for example, uh, I am in anger and I have, uh, I should not try to control my anger or I should not you know, kind of calm down. But uh, seeing that state of anger and uh, accepting it that the present moment is uh, is of anger and then trying to uh, calm down that's also uh, is a sankhara which I am trying to create and uh, reflection and to just see that uh, this is what is happening in the present moment that's where I'll possibly put the way this is the word of reflection Uh, coming to uh, slide number uh, three, uh, thinking is a limited function, it's linear and dualistic and that's again uh, comes, uh, Ajahn Sumedho refers about this in again and again, uh, is that uh, whenever we think, uh, we think thought by thought, if a thought arises, it passes and a next thought arises and uh, I think uh, the reference to this was also in particular to uh, Paticca Samupad where uh, when we read the uh, uh, dependent origination uh, links, uh, we read it one by one and our dualistic mind may try to understand that uh, they are kind of linear uh, uh, thing but in experience uh, they, uh, they may not be linear, they may arise and uh, pass away uh, simultaneously. And again, uh, one of the important uh, points which uh, Ajahn Sivuru makes is with respect to uh, uh, trying to understand the uh, Buddha's uh, teaching uh, from a, a logical mind. And then from the logical mind, we always uh, want to question it, have I got it, have, have I understood it, and have I, am I mis making a mistake. So again, uh, there is no real problem in uh, having a logical mind and trying to understand the uh, teaching of uh, uh, Buddha from the logical point. But at some point you need to uh, keep that logic away and bring that faith and trust and then follow that uh, teaching uh, uh, in your practice. And that's where uh, uh, Jansen will say is that we hold on to thinking about and analyzing the Buddha's teaching well, and we, we still always be caught in the assumption we make from the logic and reasoning and all the dualistic function of the mind. And he says that we don't even have to know what understanding is. You don't have to think, have I got it? If you think about it, you probably 
think I haven't. And that's where uh, possibly the logic will take you. It always will not give you that uh, sat satanity because it will always try to question and always will try to doubt. And that's where the uh, Ajahn Sumedhu's reference of uh, trust and faith uh, uh, comes in. Uh, coming to uh, slide number four on uh, ignorance. And as Ajahn Sumedhu mentions that, uh, When we operate from ignorance, we are operating from our views or uh, identities uh, and uh, this sense of self which we uh, take strongly. And uh, as Ajahn Savadhu says that uh, whenever we start from uh, ignorance, we will always uh, end up in ignorance. Uh, so that's the first uh, link of uh, dependent origination where uh, it starts with uh, ignorance or avijja. And as Ajahn Sumeru says that ignorance affects the present moment. If I start with ignorance, if I am caught in feeling self-conscious and suspicious or frightened and try to suppress that, then ignorance affects my thoughts, emotions, physical body and the conditions being uh, around me and of course consciousness and that's where uh, 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 the encouragement which Ajahn Sumedhu gives is to relax and and this is suggestion to always uh, move away from ignorance and uh, not add ignorance to ignorance uh, in Hindi we sometimes use uh, the word ke, uh, so perhaps our ignorance becomes uh, adding ignorance on ignorance is like continuing that that's where uh, this encouragement to uh, relax and the, the way I think Ajahn Sivinam mentions uh, the word relax is to uh, relax in the presence in uh, the uh, trusting in the uh, uh, awareness and that's where uh, that gives you that kind of uh, uh, awareness, gives you that opening where we are able to see what's arising and that's where we can uh, kind of see what's arising and not add on to the ignorance. When there is ignorance of reality, the result is always going to be some form of suffering. Learning to trust in awareness is the way to uh, awaken from ignorance. <clears throat> so learning to trust in awareness. Is it kind of taking a refuge in awareness or kind of surrender to awareness? That's what they call them surrenders. They say Buddha is the awakened one. So Buddha himself is taking refuge in awakening. And the nearest uh, integration to us of awakened away is the awareness which we have, which is undisturbed uh, by the what is happening, what it is aware of. Mm. So if there is disruption, deception, mind is very upset, and if you can draw this view where mind is very upset. Have a nice time with that awareness. So that's what the extent of attachment is. That you can see that uh, this is, title is very beautiful, no? disruption the norm. It's also like that. It's okay. Suffering is a part of life. So just be, it's all so right. I'm suffering. Fine. So if one can live with that awareness, I'm suffering, it's free from suffering. It's free. It is, just, there may be repeated. Mm. Again and again, the living out of memory will come. It is not annihilation of suffering, but it's free from suffering. Yeah. It's aware. It's just uh, seeing that somebody is suffering. Yeah. <laughs> somebody is suffering. Yes. 
So just when when the weapon process will begin. He doesn't see himself as a person suffering no? because he is associating himself with the awareness. Of. So when I am aware of something, then I am not that thing. I am aware of the flower, I am not the flower. It is an awareness. With the same attitude, I can be aware of the suffering. My, my, the whatever happens in the mind. Of course, it is quite tough. So <laughs> we have such strong uh, tendency of holding on. So, Even aware, then it again to come back. After that, to aware, then to come back. We are aware. Aware that you are suffering. You are aware that you are suffering. There is suffering. There is There suffering. Is. Not that you are. That is the fundamental ignorance. There is suffering. That is the fundamental is suffering. Ignorance. <laughs> ignorance is being caught up in my own views, opinion, identity, sense of self as a permanent personality. If you ignore that, then you have no chance. Nahi. So this is presumed that you are. But if you think I am suffering, then again you are trapped. Yeah, yes, you can get trapped there. That's, That's why ignorance is the fundamental thing. No? This ignorance of sense of myself as a permanent person, a personality, is a big problem. If you think that I am very a person, then that person will suffer. <laughs> So that is where the wisdom comes into picture. So uh, Rajendra ji had asked this question that could it be explained with some practical example? Yeah. I think uh, I got an email last night. It was very uh, saddening, extremely saddening. It was so uh, chicken. Something is beyond me. I can't do anything about it. I mean, it's um, somebody's action which is. Which we didn't expect that way, and so it makes you feel one way, feel that okay. So you are unhappy for some time. You say, can we thought arise? Can you make some other try? You try. So you're just holding on. You say, we consult some friends and see what to do. So it's regarding our own work with this industry and other things. We can be up and sit and discuss. It's okay. It's okay. You're not happy about what is happening. But what can you do? Just observe it for some time, and it drops off. Okay. If I'm too much attached to the project, then I'll suffer. Definitely. If I'm not attached, okay. So be it. That's the way it is. So the. Attachment to take uh, to a even to a project, attachment to a thing, even to that creates something. So if you take it personally, then you need to work important. Hai, so the whole idea is that it is very important. Then suffer. You see it as a event in this space which is happening in it. अपने ही उपयोग में खूब सकते हैं। तो सही से सेइंग दैट एट वर्क बैटरी यूज़ है, बैटरी यूज़ है। चलने पर कितना चलते हैं लाइक जाएगी तो सो आई विल फर्स्ट कंटिन्यू विच राजेंद्र जी इस क्वेश्चन सो ओपिनियन कैन बी देयर बट वन डजेंट हैव टू क्लेम टू इट या देखो ओपिनियन कैन बी देयर ऑफ कोर्स माइंड विल ऑपरेट ना ही ऑपरेट एंड से यार ठीक नहीं है यार अच्छा नहीं लग रहा ओके अच्छा नहीं लग रहा यूर Neither we have to be on zombies. It is an unpleasant feeling, so we say it's an unpleasant feeling. यार अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है। जब निकाल उसको अपन को यार अच्छा नहीं लग रहा है। ये जवाब तो ठीक नहीं आया। मैं ठीक है। वो वैसे ही पहले पहले ही वो काफी अपने काम से बिजी था। नहीं तो डोंट बोल। शिक्षक है। तो डोंट ट्राइ। ठीक है। नहीं लग रहा अच्छा तो नहीं ल if you have strong attachment, you don't want to say that it's not like this, it's a very good thing. And what we are saying is quite okay, quite good, quite good of all, definitely. If you don't doubt me, but still it's not happening, you don't want to say that it's not happening. You don't want to 
So everything is not within our control. So that's okay. I think this man, uh, you know, if I use if I take this this sentence that you know, Ram Sanjay uses a lot, you know, that which awares of this, mm. so is not suffering. Is not suffering. That which is aware of suffering is not suffering. That which is aware of the opinions is not opinion yeah. It is just be. It is just aware of the opinions. So, so it allows the opinions to be there, but still is aware of the opinions. So this question from Silesh is saying that uh, at work attachment maps to passion and is rewarded. Yeah. When it succeeds, it is rewarding. When it doesn't succeed, then it is <laughs> equally suffering. Suffering? That's true. Because in the human world, we value the passion very much. Now we don't realize what are we getting into. <laughs> so when we value the passion so much, so generally the whole training is you should be passionate about everything you do. But the word passionate can mean different things to different people. One thing is you are working with full dedication. Otherwise, is attached. you are at time working with full uh, dedication and attachment for the result. Ye to hi jayega, hona hi that may be in the background actually. Most of the time, passion means something that expectation is in the background. And then, passion in terms of dedicating to a task is perfectly fine as long as the attachment to the final result is not there. So, uh, so Rajendraji has this follow-up comment. He's saying that uh, got it that one has to be uh, aware of all that is happening in the mind and not to be reacting to it. Okay. Uh, so, coming to uh, slide number five, uh, it's on Sankara uh, Karma Formations. And that's the uh, second link starting from uh, ignorance, which leads to sankharas. And uh, as uh, sankharas means uh, all the uh, conditioned things which arise and which will eventually uh, pass away. And uh, this is example which uh, Jan Samiru gives that if we st start from the ignorance, for example, if we if we start from this. Uh, sentence that I am a screwed up person, then whatever happens, uh, result of that, whatever thoughts or whatever feelings come, that will be all conditioned uh, from that uh, ignorant, uh, ignorant thought. Then that that things that comes from the assumption will affect my consciousness. So then I, I automatically assume that I am a screwed up person and shouldn't be. Then I've got to work on myself, meditate for many hours, sit on a Zafu and in some way or other unscrew the screwed up screwed upness that gives me something to do as a person. So uh, uh, possibly uh, is also mentioning is that starting from uh, ignorance uh, we create this sankharas and this uh, eventually this sense of personality comes and that pers when the sense of the pers personality is there then it will always want to do something, always want to get uh, rid of something. Coming to uh, the next slide, uh, relaxed attention. That's where the uh, session again, uh, uh, our Sanjay is to trust in awareness, to relax into life and to be is with uh, ourselves. And that's where uh, uh, what Ajahn Sudo is referring uh, with respect to uh, relaxing is a sense of relaxing the body, letting go of things, just letting go of all, all one's problem and pro personal difficulties of not holding on to them or trying to fight against them, but just relaxing with them, allowing this moment to be as it is. I think that's where, uh, personally, what I understood is uh, the crux is 
allowing this moment to be uh, as it is. This way of awareness is a way of allowing the life to flow through you rather than going into control and trying to get tranquility through suppressing unpleasant or disruptive thoughts. Again, this is really not about uh, trying to force uh, tranquility upon yourself because the more we can try to force something, the more uh, disturbed we will uh, become. So, the way of uh, relaxed uh, uh, awareness is to relax with whatever conditions we have in the present moment. That's always has been the session uh, as I have understood. Again, uh, as the uh, answer was saying, the idea of making yourself relax is ri ridiculous, isn't it? If you see yourself relax, you immediately stiffen up. So it is no more of awareness of tension. If you accept the fact that you are tense and not relaxed, you will find yourself relaxing. And that's where this uh, the, uh, acceptance of the uh, uh, present comes uh, because unless we have this uh, acceptance, uh, this relax, this automatic relaxation will not come in. And uh, that's where the answer again says that if we, if you accept the fact that you are tense and not relaxed, then you will find yourself relaxing. But if you, if you have an idea that you should be relaxed and you should not be tense, then you create more tensions. And it's really a so many omnipotent things in this nature. It is counterintuitive thing that they actually get. But so many sushti are there. Not only one. No, sushti. No, it means that you know. 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 करना कुछ नहीं जानता अगर रिलैक्स करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो फिर वही हो जाएगा टेंशन ही होगा जो शुरू में तो कहा जाता है रिलैक्स योर सेल्फ इज इन दैट बट इन ड्यू कोर्स वन हैज टू लर्न एज ही सेज बाय फाइटिंग टेंशन यू क्रिएट मोर टेंशन यू कैन ड्राइव योर सेल्फ अप टू द वॉल एंड बी एन एब्सोल्यूट रैक after half an hour of trying to relax. <laughs> it says allowing tension to be and see what happens. What are the so critical? We are so critical that when we see we are tense, we just want to get rid of it. And I think that's where the whole, I think the problem starts so that the moment we see ourselves as angry, Suffering. Uh, oh, suffering, we just want to, you know, kind of fix, uh, fix it right there itself and that's where this uh, chain of uh, suffering le uh, leading to further suffering or, or flowing in the suffering uh, happens. So coming to the uh, next slide, meditation. Uh, that's the uh, title. The meditation is learning to be fully with the present. And there is this uh, general sense of openness and receptivity. Is, meditation is like learning to be fully with the present and, and the uh, uh, power of now. Mm. The exact today is yeah. the way he says is yeah. quite similar. Quite similar. Mm. Because he talks of the presence. And being with it. And also, it says that it is learning to be with the present. So, the assertion which Jan uh, uh, gives is openness and receptivity rather than striving to get things or controlling the mind. And uh, uh, the way Jan Sumedha uses uh, sound of silence also is. Uh, to bring you to this uh, openness and uh, he again cautious uh, uh, us that 
uh, don't uh, take sound of silence as something that you have to go to listen to it and focus on it and then again you try to uh, put all the attributes of sound of silence where uh, you will again fail but if you take it more to come to the present moment and kind of relax and uh, uh, open up uh, your awareness uh, that's a uh, session and that's the way uh, John Smith would ask us to be in uh, coming to the present and uh, one of the uh, very uh, uh, important point which John Smith makes with respect to mindfulness of breathing is he says that it's really not about uh, paying attention to your uh, in-breath, in inhalation or exhalation, but it's really to be able to relax with your breathing. And uh, the way I understood is that uh, uh, when if you try to pay uh, too much attention to your uh, breathing, then you kind of try to uh, bring, uh, uh, try to uh, it tries to become more of a controlling your breathing, but uh, relaxing with the breathing is to we have this uh, uh, awareness and uh, uh, calmness uh, uh, with your breath. It's a way we have learned anapanasatis, pay attention to your breath in meditation and meditation. This is exactly the way we learned it. Yeah. So we start like that. Okay? If you tell somebody, okay, relax into your breath, you just sleep. <laughs> but sir, how does then Ajahn Sumitra teach yeah. his beginner's retreats? Hmm. We didn't give instructions. But in Amravati, there are retreats for beginners also. Yeah, so the Ajahn Amravati is a good thing. I was reading his book, which I really have read, you know, like book, which I read here. So Ajahn Kevli gave me that it is a this is Ajahn Sumedho's book, Ajahn Amaro's book. So there he makes clear instructions and points it out. Ajahn Sumedho is talking here. It's only so for senior meditators. No, but he, he, when Ajahn Amaro was not in Amravati, Ajahn Sumedho used to conduct all the things. He used to give instructions at that time. He won't, uh, I mean, when you say relax into breath, what does it mean? You don't understand that. What does it mean? It means be aware of the breath. That's perfectly fine, be aware of the breath. Not pay attention to the breath that you apply too much force. No, that is the only difference. Yeah. But this is a very big difference. Yeah. Because generally when you start, when your new command starting, he has to have that idea of what exactly it means to be aware of the breath. Okay. So how will you be aware of the breath? He will feel the breath going in, breath coming out. So that is the idea. Now when he is going to pay attention, it is just a matter of the choice of word. Normally, when that new command will begin to, pay, uh, to feel the breath, he will have to be attentive. And there will be therefore some adjustment in the breath. Shuru mm -hmm. hota hai. Ke saath, jab bhi ko hai, problem ho Usko koi nahi hai. A small mm -hmm. It's only when you have practiced enough that you can relax. So that's why you know, many of the monks, not just ordinary meditators say, the answer to the instructions are quite tough to follow, very difficult to do, ordinary person cannot do it. I was told this here, it said during my, this long trip we had you know, talked to many people. But sir, so could it be that that is, that is what is stopping us in the uh, when we are not following him no, the, to the spirit, because yeah. he has been saying this on and on and on and on. But that is maybe the time. last few years he has been stressing on uh, this issue of 
But if you see his earlier discourses, they were of that kind. Yes, I, I, I saw that. I, I mentioned it last time also. In 108 talks, in his, uh, this, his 70s discourses were very, very passionate. Mm -hmm. And now the. So, as the time is changing, he is now fully realized. Uh, so, so, he gives <laughs> talks at that level. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think that maybe that is, he is saying that I. That is the crux. That is what he is realized. That yeah, is the yeah. crux that, you know, yeah. maybe similar to the meditation retreats, our attitude towards the retreats yeah. is what is stopping us from, that from working progress. That, that is what he is, he is yeah. trying to stress that this is the most important thing, pay, pay this attention here. To be as relaxed and to be as. Simply be aware is quite. Very powerful. But the issue is that for a normal person, it's not easy. So I agree with those monks. I think you ask a newcomer uh, to be to accept what is there, to be present, to be aware. It's not easy. You need some training. You need some initial training to be able to understand that. उसमें सब यही है इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर डे वन डे टू डे थ्री वो बुक जो मैं लाया था मेरा तो उसमें इंस्ट्रक्शन भी हैं बट अगेन इन दिस इन दिस मोड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू बी रिलैक्स एंड ट्राइंग टू बी रात दैन अचीविंग टेंशनिंग दीज थिंग्स बट इट डज गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू फोकस अटेंशन इंस्ट्रक्शन कुछ तो ट्रेनिंग शब्द का तो मतलब क्या होता है हम लोग आदत पड़ गई ना हमारी समाज में ट्रेनिंग का मतलब हमको प्रतीक्षा नहीं बताया जाए अब सांस को देखो अभी बाहर जा रहा है अंदर आ रहा है एक तरह से स्ट्रक्चर से हम लोग ट्रेन हुए हैं तो इनकी ट्रेनिंग इज ए ट्रेनिंग इन एटीट्यूड एक्चुअली कराएंगे तो वही सांस को ब्रीदिंग माइंडफुलनेस ब्रीदिंग कराते हैं जी प्राइमरीली एंड देन इसे शूट कैन डू माइंडफुलनेस बॉडी और बॉडी स्कैन और वटेवर And he does body scan in a different manner. Actually, so the whole idea is fundamental teaching of Buddha is the chamkaaya gatha sati. Constantly be aware of the body and force of the pratana. Be aware of the mind. Now, which particular technique you follow doesn't matter. But the awareness matters. Primarily, it matters training in becoming more and more aware, and not getting caught up in what appears. Awareness is जो भी सामने आ रहा है वो bodily functions हैं या mental functions हैं, not getting caught up in that. That is the key thing. How you do it is not very important. Attitude with which you do it is more important. But sometimes how you do it also helps. We cannot deny that fact that how you do it also helps us in. Uh, practicing. If you just leave everything open to a newcomer, he will not know what to do, where to put the attention. Because attention will be freely floating, and one can be in a state of illusion. So you have to strike the balance between samma vayamo and samma sati. But that path is there, samma vayamo. Strong effort is be there. Samma sati is pure awareness. So you have to be. Follow both of them. So that is where the uh, understanding is important. If we get carried away by one, mm -hmm. not other, we will get mm -hmm. from the trap. So we have to see that Ajahn Sumedho is actually talking to senior meditators. We have to see that. Okay. Those who have practiced for years and got caught. So it is seen exactly for us. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> so Dhaka had this question that when we were there for seven day retreat at uh, Amravati, were there any, were there not 
uh, any instructions other than evening discourses? No, no, there are morning instructions, but they were also almost like discourses. There was a question answer session. Morning session was uh, basically an instruction session. That we were a little bit of instruction. It will maybe out of 50 minutes or 45 minutes, there will be 5 10 minutes of proper put awareness in the prayer or something of that kind. Rest will be the attitude of part. Then there was question answer session in the afternoon and then discourse by I answer whether it would come in the night. Okay. So uh, coming back to presentation. So this, uh, the session here will be more representative of the practices. So we'll of course tell Ayana uh, what are we expecting and tell him that there will be a mixture of new and old students. Hmm. We can ask him to give some brief instruction. So I have seen that book now, he has just come in which his narration instructions are very good, extremely good. They are instructions and yet their focus is on awareness. But some instructions are given how to feel the breath and what to do, where to do. So be aware of that. They don't say where. Let me find out. So uh, Amit wants to know the name of the book which you are It's not in the markets. Okay. The book which I am reading is called Breakthrough. Which has this instruction. Uh, yeah, it is instruction up to the breakthrough. Uh, by Ajahn Amit. It's the name Breakthrough. I wish I had said the name. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, coming back to presentation, what uh, Ajahn Samadhu says is that uh, many times we give me the two books. This is the book, you can see that. It says that it will be available as an e book. So, it's an e book. But actually, that it is given for reading, so that there are some editorial things as well. So, maybe it is not come, but it is a publication for free distribution. Okay. You might get actually search on October 2016. So you can see there are meditation instructions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's it. There are 9 meditation instructions and 10, 10 of them. 11, last time is 11. So this is the book. The book is based upon the talks and meditation instructions offered during a 13th day retreat at Amravati in summer of 2012 <laughs> 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 Because he told me that it is about to come. Maybe it is about to come for print. Print will use that. Mm -hmm. So it's my instruction that I read them all. So there is a well, uh, audio also. Mm -hmm. See, this is the part of the compilation of the retreat given by Jan Amro from 31st August to 12th September. Mm -hmm.
This is dedicated to Lungo Chan, Lungo Smiley. So you can see the implications of that. Still. So, uh, so I think it would be good for us to see them for the comfort of the people. Okay, but I think then we can do is that we should have a link there. We will register the link there. Ah, so we will have a link there. To read this. That will be helpful. That we can ask you to do that. Because we will have a number of people who are better than we are. It will help in that if I get any doubts over there. Push the link. So, uh, coming back to presentation, uh, Ajahn Samadho uh, again says that sometimes we uh, uh, make, we try to force things in meditation. For example, uh, we may want to make meditation as a high standard of physical contact, uh, conduct and and uh, or practice to become a good meditator. So, uh, probably he is referring to, uh, for example, we want to force that I will move, uh, I will not move my uh, kind of legs or I'll uh, straight, uh, I'll sit very uh, upright. Uh, and they are all fine. Uh, there is no problem in uh, uh, trying to have a stand in meditation, but trying to do this with ignorance or uh, or trying to attach to what you are, you are really doing uh, can be a, uh, can be a problem and I, I found one more example that uh, I was reading uh, day before yesterday that uh, as again from uh, Thailand that few of the monks decided that uh, uh, during the arranged retreat uh, they will not uh, speak at all and they will uh, 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 keep the full uh, full silence and after the uh, re retreat when they went to their master and uh, told uh, them about uh, 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 their, their practice and he was uh, really amazed in the sense that he says that even though you were not uh, speaking uh, uh, verbally, but your mind was all over the place, so it really didn't make any sense uh, to keep uh, that kind of a forced practice. So again, uh, we we need to really see that uh, uh, we don't make meditation really kind of a goal oriented and kind of uh, uh, push ourselves to really achieve something out of it. So then how can enlightenment be a goal? Enlightenment is always a goal. That's an issue, no? there is the paradox here. There is no doubt. That's why I am saying we, we have to see the statements in a proper perspective. We cannot be meandering and doing anything. We have kept a goal, certainly. Okay? But we are not obsessed with it, that's the point. We are following a path. There are so many paths, we are not following every path, we are following one particular path. How do we choose it? Well, we have a goal. Even to say that I want to be free from all something is a very difficult one at that. <laughs> and the key thing is that. Once you are on the path, then you don't have to think about Kappa, Pahajana, and all. You have to be obsessed with that. You have to choose the path properly, which will take us to the goal, and walk a few steps and be sure that it is in the right direction. And make sure that we don't deviate from that in any case throughout the walk. So there is a, there is a goal, and yet, they are not uh, attached to the goal. <laughs> because any attachment, because the goal is to be detached. <laughs> the goal is to be free from all grasping. So you can't grasp the goal. That is the fundamental paradox. That's why the God said, you know, something, yeah, I can see that. Which was a valid purpose. 
Hmm. That's the reason. People are so much uh, absorbed in the world that for them to understand something like that, quite tough. Hmm. It will be very for me, for example, I miss that is not happening. So, uh, with this, uh, I just say from Delhi, uh, meditation is to not live to the high standards. So, I think we have this comment that Buddha is supposed to have advised Adhishthans. Yeah, Adhishthans is one of the Pali. <coughs> it should be practiced, yes, but not a main Buddha project. Yeah. But if you make it into a project, then everything and other things become secondary. <coughs> so you go to a camp and you say, so I'm, uh, I mean, and we used to say it, I know. And uh, many senior teachers used to tell us, he was eight se paas tak bethe rao, baar ne nikalna, illa ne. That's a project or <laughs> project is to be mindful? <laughs> what is the project? Are we practicing being aware or are we practicing not leaving the room for four hours? <laughs> Not leaving the room for all means you can be cursing yourself. Come to the teacher take lenge, teacher take lenge. So, this is what happens with these long courses many times. Because the instruction has been implicitly given, may not be explicitly. If you didn't even get out of the bar, someone not strong, it may be right. But he is speaking to this thing, he did. If you don't come under the town, but they said, who got the key? I come, but it will. She could be there. One of them, you do. Would he get any little bit? I'm Dusrika, I was first president of the world. I'm up my afternoon, Jerome, Gatete, or Chavente, but to do a Kesa, Tituru Mara, that is what is important. From that we can learn what must be the attitude no. of others because we have been meditating very earnestly. So we know. And we know what is the implication of someone when somebody tells you. Just this statement. You may be saying it out of your own understanding, but uh, if that is made into a project, then Adhishthan is. So, Ajahn Chah said that when there is a baby, it will be better for the Murgi, 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 it will be better for the Murgi. So, you have to see that, you know, Adhishthan is important, yet it is not to be made into a project. That is a, you know, those things are everything, you destroy everything actually. Every element of eightfold path is important. Shilas are important. Yet Shilvat Paramas is a factor. See? Shil is important, but Shilvat Paramas is a factor. You are supposed to work. Akkari Yattana Natho. But Sakai Vitti is a factor. Kappa Kya Garo, Kappa Kya Garo, Kappa Kya Garo, Kappa Kya Garo, you can say anything you like. You can tell the Buddha, if you say, 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 then you say, if 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 you what do you do? <laughs> you need to understand that. That's why it's a path of understanding. If we understand it, we don't have to give it to us. Then we can see that it's not a problem. And then we get too relaxed or we get too tense. <laughs> so that middle path is a really a Tough call. So I think that the, the, at least I have, a, you know, thinking about the Adhishthan and anything which can be termed as a Kushal Upaya. It can be termed as, whatever is Kushal Upaya can also be a fetter because you have to you know, let go of that also. But the way, the, I think I heard this from Ajahn Sumedhu or Ajahn Chah somewhere, 
is that these all all the tools for you to be mindful and you are using the kushal upaya so that you, you these are the tools for you to get a reminder to be mindful if you if you take those tools as achievements ki agar mujhe 4 ghante baithna hai to main baith gaya to mera kaam khatam ho gaya versus agar aap apne aap ko force karoge to your mind will become lot more agitated and then those agitations will remind you to be aware of those agitations itself so i think that is what i found very useful that if, whether you are looking to them as tools or whether you are looking to them as achievements अचीवमेंट की तरह देखते हैं तो वो उस रेशन में चला जाएगा फिर यू विल गेट ए स्ट्रे बट अगर अधिष्ठान को कहते हैं कि मैं सारा दिन तो सारा दिन तो भटकता रहता हूँ चलो एक बार बैठ के अधिष्ठान करते हैं कि अब सिर्फ मन देखना है तो इट इज अ टूल दैट यू have used and tool ko tool ki tarah hi use kar use karna chahiye and that is how i think he was he was uh, giving vinaya versus dhamma ka the combination hai that whether you use vinaya as an achievement ki i am a very good monk i follow all the rules versus vinaya is just a tool for me to get more reminders in the day because it forces me into a particular uncomfortable region which helps me get reminded again and again and again and again स्टान के बारे में जैसे वेन आई वॉज अ टीचिंग ऑलवेज यू टू टेल यू यूज इट एज ए प्रैक्टिस टू री इंक्रीज योर एबिलिटी टू ऑब्जर्व अनप्लेजेंट थिंग्स पीसफुली सो यू सिट एंड वेन एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन ऑब्जर्व द अनप्लेजेंटनेस ऑफ सिटिंग इक्वानिमसली फाइन the moment you think it is not possible relax open yourself and then relax because sitting down and cursing and waiting ki kab ban ke mujhe hi stare mein absolutely that you are actually spoiling the whole uh, practice by doing that way. so you have to slowly practice as is ana and yet do it in a manner that it is awareness is the more important rather than the rest of when that happens you slowly automatically sit you can automatically sit for hour two hours no issue at all you don't have the force and that's where the uh, question from sudarshan is that when the bodhi sattva site final time he took adhisthan not to get us fully uh, till he get fully awakened yeah let's go to the bodhi sattva he practiced for a few million years two million lives right so you must see that and do and he understand eventually lasted how many hours <laughs> like this finish because we are fully prepared for that he mm-hmm. stand there with a the mental strength of that person and we just see it. that is used actually as an example by many teachers if you want to develop that ability how will you sit for hours and this hours not in my opinion that's not a very wise thing to do It actually enhances the personality. It enhances it the self-belief. Mm-hmm. It enhances your ability, your uh, perception as a person who can sit for four hours, three hours, two hours, and makes you more and more entangled in the self-belief. Once you give up self-belief, you can sit for four hours, mm-hmm. really. Because one is relaxed, one can easily sit for two hours, three hours, no issue. But if one is makes a target, to make two hours to sit, then there will be real issue. So it depends really where where exactly we are, where exactly our status of practices. So once you got the clarity, then. So Rajesh has uh, this uh, question that would not then it be individual oriented? Yeah. If be, I I don't know the context. Uh, I think the context was just uh, before what so you were saying. The pure content. Uh, so I'll just state fully. Uh, would not it be uh, individual oriented? If bases are not adhered to, then 
how will one reach the next stage there is ought to be a difference between an advanced meditator and an and a beginner when would beginner become an uh, advanced would be difficult yes must be when you are saying that you sit for whatever hours you want to sit you can sit comfortably yeah. when would this will come very naturally that's right it will come naturally so so the, in the beginning part the practice should be that you sit in a vishtana with a proper mind and you say okay i'll sit for one hour and try and practice and if after 40 minutes is it excessive pain and you cannot handle it open your eyes accept it and then again continue for another 20 minutes so don't torture yourself and hold on and wait for one hour and see when alarm is going to come out and, and they defy the mind by excessive aversion and when you practice like that today it will be 40 minutes then it will become 45 then it will become 50 then it will become one hour no issue by practicing with awareness not by practicing with the, like a hatha yogi the mere the better nahi hai and not worry about the consequences what it is doing on the mind so isn't isn't the body looking jaise baithing hai the this time pain to be tar bola hai aur 40 se 45 minute ke baad hi hota ab to nahi hota nahi ab nahi hota ab to jab baithi hai plus like mein baat baat to ha to mere mein kai baar mere baat baat to wo to baat mein aate hain nahi wo to baith jate hain wo to aise stage mein aake jab baith sakte the lekin wo us samay ki baat to jab nahi baith pate जिसे आप कहते ना कि यू ओपन योर लेग्स बट आई थिंक यू शुड नॉट ओपन यू जस्ट सी दैट हाउ लॉन्ग या यू सी एज लॉन्ग एज यू कैन सी इक्वैनिमसली देयर इज अ पेश लिमिट टू आवर इक्वैनिमिटी ना वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट बॉडी सर्कुलर्स नी वी आर नॉट बट जस्ट इ मैन टू यू गेट यू इवन टू सी थिंग्स की जो दिस टाइम की गुरुजी बता रहे हैं मैं मतलब पेन सैन करती थी होता था ऐसे ऐसे मगर मैं खुलती नहीं थी गड्डी तो ना ये ना कुछ नहीं बिल्कुल गलत हमने हमने पर्सनली कहा था फिर हमने कहा भी था कि हाँ तुम ये इंस्ट्रक्शन देते हो ठीक है नहीं बट अगर आप अगर आपका देश जाग रहा है देश नहीं जगे ना ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है अगर देश नहीं जगे फिर तो कोई प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है दर्द होती ना हाँ तो दर्द होती है तो यू आर एबल टू ऑब्जर्व इट पीसफुली यू आर यू आर सेइंग दैट आई कैन अनलेस का डिसरप्शन बिलोंग्स इफ यू कैन सी दैट पेन इट्स फाइन इट्स ओके परफेक्टली फाइन व्हाई नॉट If you can see that pain without getting worried, perfectly fine. So can it happen? But if you can't see that pain and you are making yourself a fool, you know, no, 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 नहीं मैंने मैंने जबकि मैं तो खुलती नहीं थी लेकिन ये ये मैं तो इंस्ट्रक्शन देता था कोई आता था मेरे पास कि मेरे को बहुत दिक्कत हो रही है मैं जितनी देर तुम आराम से सैन जैसे ही पेन है वैसे मत खोलो कभी भी पेन हो रही है थोड़ी देर वेट कर लो देख लो जब लगे कि अब मेरे पास का नहीं है तो दाद दिन कर सेंगे और सेल फोटो ले तो लेकिन बिग प्रोजेक्ट आउट हो गया मैं तो बैठ चुके रखूंगा ही वो चलेगा नहीं दैट्स नॉट ए गुड एटीट्यूड टू फॉर्म in the beginning periods with practice slowly it naturally happens that is the way it should in my opinion that is the way one should be able to sit for longer periods of time so that it becomes natural मेरा अपना एक्सपीरियंस तो मतलब आप तो मैं आज सुन रही हूं ना आपसे अभी तो तो ऐसे ही रहा और उसके बाद मैं बैठ सकती थी मतलब लेकिन ये है कि जब थोड़ा बहुत ऐसे हिल लेती थी उसी को तो कहते हैं फुल आए Because you are not able to sustain. You have to accept it. If accepting is there, you know, you remain in delusion, total delusion. Ah, I have sat here. I have put my feather on my head. I have sat here and sat here. When he is 15 times, he is 15 times, he is 15 times, he is 15 times. What does that mean? 
जब यू यू करते हैं इट मीन यू आर रिएक्टिंग एक्चुअली सो राधर देन रिएक्टिंग डू इट कॉन्शियसली राधर देन अलाउिंग द बॉडी टू रिएक्ट दिस वे दैट वे दिस वे दैट वे डू इट कॉन्शियसली ओके इंटॉलरेबल नाउ अवर सेन अराइजिंग मूव इट नो प्रॉब्लम एक्सेप्ट दिस वर्क इज द लिमिट ऑफ माई से इक्वानिमिटी एट द मूवमेंट दैट इज मच बेटर इन माई ओपिनियन so proceed isn't the the way we evaluate uh, a beginner versus advanced meditator with the with their ability to sit for how long that's not a good way that's not because that's i think that is what rajendra ji was asking how will we differentiate between beginner i think that is not uh, the right way to, because even for advanced meditator there may be a time when yeah. there is something uh, very in, in, in ha huh. अभी हम जब वहां गए थे थाईलैंड में तो जो भिक्षु पिंड पाद पे जाते हैं तो ऑल गो बेयर फुट बट एग्जाम से मेरे कहेंगे नहीं उनके पाँव इतने सूझे हुए भाई अगर नंगे पाँव चले तो फट ही जाएगा उसमें तो पाँव इतना सूझा हुआ है इसमें अगर पत्थर एक लगेगा वो फट जाएगा सब सीखेंगे सॉक्स एंड ये स्लीपर्स ऑन एंड पीपल इन यस ठीक है दैट्स द व्हाट बॉडी नीड्स यू नोट हैव टू मेक अ प्रोजेक्ट आउट ऑफ इट दैट नाउ दैट इज अ नया ही एक्चुअली रिलैक्सिंग द नया फॉर हिमसेल्फ सो मन शुड हैव दैट मच ऑफ एबिलिटी यू नोट हैव टू मेक अ बिकम क्रिएट अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर अदर्स नो यू एक्चुअली इफ यू वाज टू डू दैट यू क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द होल मिनिस्ट्री कोई भी बन जाएगा चलो ले चलो मुझे बैंक ऑफ के इलाज कराओ मेरा इसी सो दैट इज द परसेप्शन परसेप्शन इज डिफरेंट नॉट दैट के मेरी इमेज खराब हो जाएगी होती रहे इफ दी पीपल डोंट अंडर दिलबडी नो नो इनके पाओ की क्या हालत है उनके पाओ जो है चार गुना हो रहे हैं एंड दे आर नो वेरी स्टैंड एंड वेरी डिमांड सो मच रेस्पेक्ट की बट आई एम से नो पीपल हु आर जस्ट सी इन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम से सारे भिक्षु जो है वो तो नंगे पर आ रहे हैं और अजान से मेरे सिप्पा पहन के और मोजा इतना मोटा मोजा पहन के आ रहे हैं यू कैन गेट इन टू रॉन्ग आइडिया ना रॉन्ग आइडिया बट देन मैन यू सी की एक नंगा उनको हाथ से पूरा भी चला रहा है खासी प्रॉब्लम है There was a one more interesting one of his one of his talk, which is very very uh, you know insightful. He was teaching uh, other monks about uh, how not to you know you know uh, in Vinaya you know accept what is given to you. It's not not being being selective and this and that. So he was talking about food and he he talked on and on for food for some time. And he was taking examples of Zanja how he used to mix food. Food is just for body, not for taste and this and that. and he said that uh, for monks the food is you don't have to be selective the way i am that i ask for <laughs> i ask for vegetarian food <laughs> but and he is but my, interestingly he is teaching this to them yeah. and he said you don't have, you don't have to do this the way i do it i mean but why but he is he is teaching it in a such a uh, but why amazing he, manner total total uh, self is and the maybe he has a feeling that uh, everybody should take vegetarian food but he doesn't want to because they have a problem there are very subtle issues in the monastic system also there are many subtle issues in the monastic he won't tell us mm. like those but he is completely devoid of self you can but unhone bataya mujhe ek to mein kya shaan ashok kare ki hum unko to khana de ke liye bhai i have to follow the vinay totally i'm not going to say no please so you can <laughs> separately and nigga kya hua no but he relaxes the yeah, when i have thought whenever he feels it's mm-hmm. impossible for him to do mm-hmm. we don't do that we're not allowed to do. nobody is allowed to do. he doesn't allow anybody to do that 
what he said his body he says he can't sleep on the floor now and when they are supposed to sleep on the floor mm-hmm. he says he slept one day number of times and he couldn't get up so he goes and then he has to wait till somebody comes and lifts him up <laughs> no it's a big issue now if you are lying down you don't get up after lying down then what does he do he has to wait till the secretary comes lifts him up and then he goes to the toilet it's a big handicap so when you have to say okay i'll see no that much of uh, clarity and self total abnegation of self image total abnegation it's not easy but then you don't mean that everybody should do it see, mm-hmm. see the difference he is teaching them yeah and while teaching them he is giving a giving a counter example it is it is not true that's मैंने सुना नहीं है ऑल द टॉक सो इट इज इफ वन कैन बी आई वुड से दी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वन वेदर आई एम एडवांस मेडिटेटर और नॉट इज टू बी एक्सटेंड आई हैव गिवन अप सेल्फ वी या सेंटर इफ आई कैन बी एट पीस विद द राइजिंग ऑफ सेल्फ आई एम एडवांस मेडिटेटर यू कैन टेक दैट If you can see that disruption is okay, agitation of mind is okay, doesn't matter. That's just that the title itself becomes useless if you can see a rising of yourself. <laughs> no, that's what he's saying. No, when you know talk, the title is enough. It's a book. Don't take it. Don't take your life personally. You book. Don't need to read it. Title is enough. Title is enough. The title shows me. Ajay, it's enough. किसी और ने भी मैंने टाइटल ही कहा था आया हूं ने इसने किताब में लिखा हुआ था सुन रहा था सुन रहा था ना कौन सी चीज के सुन रहा था जब आया ना तो अंदर की सुन रहा था टॉक उन्होंने कहा था वो बुक ऐसी है कि मैंने कहा तो टाइटल ही काफी बट नहीं कर रहा था जस्ट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन द टाइटल दैट इज इनफ टू टेक यू थ्रू फ्रीडम सो डिस्ट्रक्शन बिलोंग्स दिस टाइटल इज इनफ यू जस्ट हैव टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन इट डीपली to be able to see that uh, that is the key thing of the life the practice for meditator should be that uh, suffering belongs there is certain that's it so what that's the way living in a realm where there will be suffering if one can come to acceptance of that surely he can feel that he is a receiver meditator or whatever <laughs> we want to say <laughs>